Hello everyone, my name is Sir Lionheart. We are here to play 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. And I do apologize because I thought I installed everything correctly. Oh look at this, we got another Atlas joint up in here. We got a Cryware joint. We got a basis something. Oh yeah, vanillaware. Look at all this. Oh look at this. Oh, look at this dude. He turned around. Hey, bro. Yeah, I see you too. Yo, I hear some like radio music. Yo, if I stay here, is there going to be an opening that place? Yeah, the visuals are pretty lovely so far. But what's going on, everybody? We are here. We're about to play 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. This is a vanillaware joint. Oh. Interesting. As soon as I hit the button, it, it just went in. That's cool. Oh, wait, the music changed. Okay interesting i had to listen to the music for a little bit please select an audio language audio language can be changed at any times in the options menu so i think when this game first released it didn't have a japanese dub right or i think they had to patch everything in right but anyway we're about to play it in you know we gotta get the english i repeat we interrupt this program to bring you an important emergency broadcast uh oh a large unidentified object has crash landed in the city it is headed north toward kasumicho destroying everything in its path kasumicho oh my god is this persona emergency has been declared in ashitaba city the neighboring three wards are advised to evacuate immediately please defer to the police for further instructions oh my god is yosuke be advised that the express lanes are currently out of service oh my god is on expected to face heavy congestion <laughs> proceed with caution Oh, nice visuals, dude. Yo, start. She's got a glowing tattoo on her leg that says start. Skip story? No, she said hit start, so I assumed I had to hit start. <laughs> Yo, is that big O? Damn, bro. He's actually, he's finally playing Aegis Rim. A kaiju attacked, like in that movie. So we'll do what we have to do. Get in the robots and fight. Our Genji? fate was sealed a long time ago. I feel like that's a reference to Evangelion. So we got robots, we got anime, we got schoolgirls. May 27th, 4.30 p.m. Am I inside the robot? What the? Where did my clothes go? Bro, this is great that anime. Is approaching. Enemy in range. <laughs> Was that my voice? It's like hearing myself talking in my head. Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. So is Japan being attacked. Those giant robots, giant Godzillas, everything. Yusaka-kun, can you hear me? Gojo-senpai, what are you? Why are you in Sekigahara's Sentinel? Senpai, are you like Akun too? Did you come from the future? What? We can discuss that later. Do you understand the situation we're in? That area is under attack by D forces. I came here to fight, but I don't know how to control any of this. And this robot's not making a peep. No time for a full rundown. We'll have to settle for the fundamentals. Sentinels are made to be controlled with your mind. Think of it as another body connected to your brain. Try to direct it. 
You can do it. Like this? Mm -hmm. Whoa, it moved! But now my head feels weird. It's like scratchy or something. That's the link system of the nano machines inside your brain. Bro. You'll also have a direct feed of information from the nano machines. It should sound like your own voice is speaking directly to you. For now, you'll just have to get used to it as you fight. Bro. Can you move? Yes, I can walk, Senpai. They're coming closer. I keep getting these pop ups in the way when I try to look around. That's your equipment interface. Use that to neutralize the D forces in front of you. The D forces? Tutorial. To control your pilots, move the cursor over a pilot and select with X. Okay. Once the menu is open, press X to a select action to destroy the enemy using arm mounted machine cannons. Okay. What do I do? Arm mounted machine. Okay. It's a, it's a little bit crazy to look at. There's a lot of like freaking grids and stuff. Just think of it uh, as an RPG, I guess. Slow down. Different combat situations might call for different weapons. Okay. If they're all concentrated in one area, you could use a wide impact armament like the rocket launchers. What? What? Uh, okay. Rocket launchers? Where's the rocket launcher button? We need the AOEs. Your display. The rig is on your shoulders. Come on, man. Focus on them. Bro, just, just shoot the rocket launchers, girl. Play action and destroy the enemy using multi-rocket launchers. Adjust the attack range with the control stick to target as many enemies as possible. What? Focus. Oh, look at this. Ah, I see. Bro, they got lit up. Yo, look at the score. There's a, there's a score. Can you evacuate? We're just... The massive okay. It's too much happening for me to even make an analysis or commentary, bro. God damn. You got fucking giant robots coming from the sky. Motherfuckers from the future or something. We got naked ladies and a robot. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? We got rocket launchers. Sentinel number 13. Activated. Oh shit, the name of the game. Sentinel's been transmitted behind you for you, Sakakun. He mentioned her being in somebody's um robot. Moving to cover Fuyasaka-san. Karabe, what are you doing here? I can't let this turn out like Sector 3. Sector 3. Izumi? No. There's no way his memory could have returned. Amnesia? Time travel? Doing this <laughs> in my dreams. I think I can do this. <laughs> Wait until we call for backup, Izumi. Bro, what's going on? Select action, then select heavy knuckles. Use the targeting to attack the enemies in front of you. Okay. I gotta think. That's it. That hit. I did it. Hit him with the go go gadget. That really <laughs> me. But how? Did we do it? Yo, we got a score of 305 out of 6,000. Damn, we got to replay that, bro. See, if I was anybody else, I would have just logged out and been like, yep, this game is too confusing. I'm out of here. My, my brain is just supposed to know what's going on already. <laughs> Jiro Karabe story is now available. I feel like this game is easily to just be like, I feel like it's easy to just not get invested, but you know, we gon' we gonna stick with it. I can save protagonist selection. Look at that. So we can pick our protagonist. What the heck are meta chips, mystery points, play time, save time. What the fuck is that? I see. Okay. I see a blue percentage. It says 2%. There's a red and then a yellow bar. Oh my God. 
Okay, first of all, I think the blue is the past. I think the red is the present. And then the yellow is the future. I don't fucking know what's going on. I'm just making reads. Anyway, guys, so far, I have no clue what's going on with this game. I'm gonna look at the manual. I feel like the manual is gonna spoil us, so let's get out of there. BGM is maxed. Also, let me know if the audio needs to be adjusted still, because, you know, we're, we're doing the, the audio ducking. I think it works pretty good. Stop on unread. When unread dialogue is displayed, fast forwarding automatically stops. Oh, that's kind of cool. Character intro. Flash image is displayed when beginning a protagonist story. I'm going to turn down the music a little bit. As long as nobody spoils you, 13 Sentinels is easily a 10 out of 10 game. You mean like any narrative driven game? Auto advance way. Oh, wow. You can control the length. Auto advancing dialogue lines. I think 0 0.6 is good. The first button press displays the entire line. The second advances the dialogue. Displays the entire line at event. Okay. I think we're going to stick with normal. Camera zoom speed. What? I think auto save is going to be important here, so I'm going to leave that on. Okay, cool. Let's get straight back into it. Jiro Karabe. The visuals are nice. The art, the art styles is nice too. Vanillaware has a very, very unique, distinct style. This again? What is going on? Come on, Jiro. Let's go home. Shiba Kun. Shiba. This dude, Shiba. That's his first name. Inu. Inu. <laughs> Use the control to move around the left stick and push X to talk to people. Which way are we going? What's up with you? I just get this weird feeling sometimes. Like something's off. What the? Going to school, living my life. It's like I'm not supposed to be here. Uh-oh. You've seen too many movies, man. Thought cloud. Sometimes when you learn about a specific person or thing, it will be added as a keyword. Some tells me this dude, Shiba, is the final boss. He's the guy behind everything. He's the guy. That is definitely Ben Diskin, John. That's gotta be Ben. Shiba Kun's a bit of a class clown. Oh, we called him a clown. He's a good friend. I always talk to him about action flicks. You're a fucking clown, Shiba. <laughs> Speaking of movies, I brought your video back. Thanks for letting me borrow it. Already? I just lent it to you yesterday. You wasted no time. Can you blame me? Giant robots, fights in the city? The house on the edge of my seat. You sure love Mecca, don't you, Jiro? Bro, what if we're just playing as a character who, like, has a very, a very crazy imagination? And then his imagination is brought to life somehow. Some keywords can be used on other characters, really. Oh, so we get, we gotta learn keywords. Oh, my boy, my boy Taylor D would love to see this as an example. Because he was trying to implement something like this in his uh, game. Videotape. Here you go. Oh wait, no, no, no. If you have any <laughs> no. Sure, yeah. No, I don't want to give it back to him. Really turned into a movie. Bro. I could have huh. probably showed that to somebody else, couldn't I? Do you think it's too much? Can I reload? Well, now that you mention it, I've been seeing the stuff in my dreams too. Yep, definite movie addiction. You're showing all the signs. Soon enough. You won't know the difference between fiction and reality. Bruh. Yeah, yeah. I think I've seen a movie about that. Fiction and reality. Oh, look at this. Bro, this is like... I didn't realize that, but... It was kind of 3D. 
Look at that. I can actually change uh, different, I guess, columns. What's she right now? She cheating on her test, bro. I walked. plans with someone let me guess it's nandy hold on let's listen to the dialogue ew no i mean it is a guy but yuri chan met someone special too i'm the only one left you're all so lucky with boys it's not fair deep breaths miwako we can talk to her right Yusaka sounds asleep again. Yusaka. School's out for the day. Should I wake her up? Come to think of it, in that movie yesterday, the girl piloting the robot looked awfully familiar. Bro, was that a movie he was watching? Is that what we saw? This is, see, I'm already like, I, yo, what is going on, bro? All right, hold on. We gotta keep playing. I like the vibe so far. Like after that, you know, the entrance, the the, the intro. It was like 10 minutes or whatever but we got here and it's just we just chilling we got the golden sky in the background you know it's it's probably like i don't know four or five can i talk to anybody else hey by the way i saw that one video up for rent oh the one you told me about the other day that one video really? yep gonna rent it i've got to oh crap give me a minute i'll be right back interesting it's always something, isn't it? Guess I'll wait here. Wonder what he's up to. She always seems to be sleeping. It's odd. And then she shows up in my dreams. I can't help but be a little curious about her. Interesting. So was that intro just a dream? Hmm. That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of these days. He probably has it. That's why he was like, you gonna rent it? Oh crap, I'll be right back. Oh yeah, so believe it or not, this alarm was for me to essentially stop everything I'm doing and just go and edit the Haiti stuff. But the Haiti stuff is already edited. It's just, I need to release it on YouTube. Hey, Fuyusaka-san. Rise and shine. I got a feeling I need to do certain things in a, a specific order. Huh? Class is already over. Kurabe kun? Um, thanks. You were out cold, huh? Just now, I. I had another weird dream. Oh, crap. They're dreaming. And you were there. Huh? What if the dream world is where all it takes place? What kind of dream was it? Well, um... Dude! Huh? This sucks, man. Can't find Amiguchi anywhere. Amiguchi? Wait a minute, what's going on here? You two are looking awfully cozy. <laughs> it's not like that. Somebody get your boy Ben Diskin. Oh yeah? Then what's the problem? Get your boy Daichi. Don't mind me, carry on. <sighs> Sorry for you, Sakasan. Let's talk about this some other time. <sighs> yeah. I'm going home now. Okay. See you tomorrow. Can I talk to those girls? Wait, can I stop her real quick? Damn. Here we go. Sorry. Interesting. I love the view from the old classroom, but the new one's not bad either. I can see the whole schoolyard. Okay. There's some paper right here. Can I? Everyone's training hard with your teams. Bro. Supporting one another. I got a feeling there's some. This game is going to be on some BS, bro. When it comes to moving forward, any money is going to be like, yo, you got to wait here and yeah, wait five minutes for her to walk home, follow her home and discover she's been like the mastermind or some shit. Any money, 
You know, I'm joking right now, but I bet you I'm right. Ooh, ooh, we sliding, we sliding. Okay. Okay, I guess I gotta go talk to Mr. Ben Diskin. What? I know I shouldn't tease you like that, but it's your fault for keeping secrets from me. <sighs> but seriously, Amiguchi, we gotta catch that guy and quick. You wanna hang out again that badly? He's got all the good video games. Oh. They're just waiting for me to play him. You got some good fightings? The thing is, he's never around unless you make plans. Bro, I'm trying to play some fighting games with your boy Amaguchi. I heard he's top top eight in uh the recent fighting game that released. You know, Amiguchi kun usually grabs a snack on his way out. Maybe he's still around. Oh, in the cafeteria? That's right. He was there during break too. Okay. He's in the cafeteria, huh? Amiguchi kun's not the most responsible guy. But Is she walking over here? Smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. He got the PS5, PS6. Hey, Krabby kun She came over there while I was thinking, which is funny. Sawatari. Those papers on the podium. Could you take them to Miss Morimura in the nurse's office? Me? Oh, well, it's your turn this week. Oh, is it? The papers are on the podium. Let me talk to the other guy real quick. Let's head to the cafeteria. Grab your stuff and come on. Bro, do I have... Hold on. Guess I gotta do this first. Is this it? Y yes, that's right. Please take care of it. Stack of papers. I wonder if I can like go to this guy and show him the stack of papers really quick. Yep. Okay. Sorry. I can't. These papers. I need to take them to Miss Morimura. Seriously? I'll do what you gotta do. But we're not giving up on Amiguchi, alright? I'm gonna head over to the cafeteria. Grab your bag and meet me there when you can. Bro, isn't it like after school? Look at the look at the sun and stuff. Exit classroom, we can leave the classroom. Wait, pull back. Hold R1 to fast forward text. Fast forwarding will automatically pause on unread text. Okay. Press the dialog to view text log. Okay. Press start to open the pause menu, select menu to view the controls. I see. Looks like you can save anyway. What? Mystery files. Mystery files contain detailed information on events, characters, and important terminology. Something tells me we're going to be looking a lot. Looking at this a lot. Uses mystery points acquired in destruction to gain access to sealed mystery files. Something tells me you need that to get the true ending or something. Bro, how many events are there? Holy shit. Why is it like a DNA sequence? The fuck? Y'all see this? It's like DNA. Bro, what is happening? By the way, this is one string. There's another strand of DNA, I think. Oh my God, dude. Yori Fukusaka Megumi Akashida. What the fuck? What is going on in this game? Files provide answers to mysteries related to the individuals and incidents that occur. You can unlock these answers by completing the protagonist events. Holy shit. It looks like we don't have a lot of content here. Did somebody leave their bag right here? Um, nurse's office. 
okay it's and taking she... our time we just vibing we just enjoying our time she's not here Stack of papers. Can I look at anything else in here? I can't leave yet until I examine the papers on here. What should I do with these papers? Just stack the papers on the Can stack I of just papers. Leave them here. Hmm? There's a document with my picture on it. Uh oh. What is this? He had to take a look around. <laughs> nice detail. He looked behind him to see. Izumi? It's my photo, but the last name is wrong. I'm Juro Kurabe. <sighs> Symptoms. Psyche stabilized via drug administration. Patient <laughs> is obedient. General good health. Drugs, huh? <laughs> Drugs? Honey. Uh, now we got the big breasted nurse lady. Yep, this is anime. This is anime anime. What brings you here? Oh, okay. Amiguchi kun's not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic. On top of that, he's got all the latest video. Okay. So I like how it kind of like um, changes the color if you have already pretty much viewed the dialogue before. So that's very useful. So if there's nothing new, it'll just be this gray, grayed out color, I guess. I think you forgot these. Oh my, you brought them back for me? Yeah, stand a little bit closer. Turn this week. I see. You're a good kid, Karabe-kun. Thank you. I appreciate the help. He was blushing for a second. For me. I should go to the cafeteria. Wait, let's ask her about the papers, though. Oh, one more thing. Kurabe-kun, how is your current condition? My condition? You know, any heart palpitations, <laughs> dizziness, <laughs> headaches. Bro, what you looking at? Are you getting enough sleep at night? Look at this dude. He's like, there's a nasty cold going around. At this time of year? That's a bit odd, isn't it? I'll give you some medicine just in case. No, thank you. That I'm fine. That COVID right. booster. I see. If you'll excuse me. My man, get it. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Let's go back and talk. You never know. Was there something else you needed? Consider. Amiguchi Kun's not the most responsible. No, what the? He's smart. On top, he's got all. Miss Morimura, have you seen Amiguchi Kun anywhere? Amiguchi Kun, the first year? I just made my rounds, but I don't believe I ran into him. That's okay. You seem to get along well with Amiguchi-kun. Yeah, I was just thinking of hanging out with him again. It's a bit surprising, honestly. Do you two have something in common? Oh, uh... Robots. That one video. That movie's a hidden... It's tough to get a... We just hang out around the TV. Movies, video games, that kind of stuff. This is interesting. Bro, why does she always get close? You mention it. Your eyes are a little red. <laughs> um, I guess I stared at the screen for too long. <sighs> you need to lead a healthier life. Shall I make a house call this weekend? Bruh. Huh? I'm fine, really. I'll get my life in order. Well, all right then. Is that it? Would you like some medicine after all? Uh, no, sorry. All right, I guess that's it. Dude, I drained the hell out of them conversation options. 
What the? You're still here? Shibakuna. What's up? Amiguchi wasn't in the cafeteria. You don't say. I'd try here. Well, guess that's all we can do. Let's drop by the video store on the way home. Come on. My man's lost in Lyoko right now. Same day, heading home. The Yakicho shopping district. Something wrong? Mm, he couldn't catch Amiguchi. The video store was a waste of time. Damn. Sucks, man. I wanted to go through the video store and look at all the different videos they had. It would have been fun looking at all the creative titles they could have came up with. It's true that one video was already rented out, but we didn't come back empty-handed. What? <laughs> that old ass kaiju flick? Kaiju. Daimos versus Mechadimos. It's a real masterpiece from 74. You and your giant robots. Hey, I got a flyer from the theater the other day. It showed what movies they're playing this month. Guess what was on there? The original Dimos. Do you want to go? Jeez, a hundred times wasn't enough for you? A hundred times? Yeah. Check. A sci fi movie from 1954. Heavy on the special effects. The first in what will become a long-running series. <sighs> I'll pass on the arcade. It's too shady these days. Why not get a game console? Then you can stay safe at home. Hmm. My little brother totally tried that argument on our dad. He was like, if you don't buy me one, I'll fall in with the wrong crowd. <laughs> Bruh. Yuki and Naba sure is popular these days. Hey. Are we going home? I even Wrong way, man. TV commercials. <laughs> Everyone at school seems to love her. Think she'll be in this year's award show? My man walked off. I was trying to listen to the conversation. I was trying to eavesdrop, bro. Come on, Juro. Let's go home. Yeah, can we cross the street? Nope. The Sentinel isn't responding. The Arakuna? The activation. You know I know I did it right. Why won't it start? Uh, you good, bro? Miura-kun. Uh, Shuro kun What's wrong? Is everything all right? You look awful. Do you feel sick? My dude need a visit from a nurse. Oh my god, what the? His head is glowing. Did it just light up? Sorry, but you shouldn't touch it. What the? My hand's lighting up too. No. What's going on? This is bad. Sentinel number 13. Transmitting. Bruh. Don't tell me. Are you? <laughs> what was that? Over there. Ah, oh, shit. It's a giant robot again. Wait, it looks different. That's a robot from that movie, bro. You idiot! What are you doing? Send that thing back. What? I did that? Okino's damn code. What? And a forced activation protocol. Well, this will be interesting. Are you? You leave me no choice. I'm gonna need you to forget about this for now. Bro, what? <laughs> he said go to sleep. I'm gonna need you to forget about this, cuz. <laughs> so we got mystery files obtained eight, event archives obtained four. Prologue end. Progress 11%. Okay. Nothing personal, asshole. All right. All right. So we got another story to go through. Can we go back to her, uh, him later? I guess we gotta complete everybody's prologue first. Mm -hmm. He agrees. Yori Fuyusaka. I'm late. I'm late. It's 
Oh my god, she's got the bread in the oh my god. dreams won't leave me alone. She's got the toast in her mouth. While running to school. Typical. Almost there. Is this tuxedo mask? Hey, you alright? Guess that's a yes. Watch where you're going, okay? You could get hurt. Um, sorry. Huh? Wait, are you? Oh no! The morning assembly! Okay then. An uncanny resemblance. Uncanny? She's a. This is a Noel Vermilion? A student ID. Oh, it is a black cat on the gate. You see that? Niori Fuyusaka. Top love. <sighs> Might be worth looking into. Something tells me that cat is a uh, a big part of the story. Bro, she was sleeping in here. Yori chan That character, thick as hell. Look at her. Good morning, sleepyhead. Mm. You were sound asleep. Class is over? The teacher kept giving you dirty looks. Dirty looks? Punch him in the face. Yeah. You slept through the whole class. I would too. I'm Kisaragi. Tell me, Kisaragi. Ah, I'm Sawatari. And I'm Fuyusaka-san, right? I heard the teacher trying to call on you. Really? Oh, I didn't notice. <sighs> I've barely even started my high school life. And this is how I make a first impression? So you're a ninth grader. Well, I don't know if high school starts as ninth grade in Japan, but yeah. Yua Chan's my good friend. She's gentle, kind, loves talking about romance, even though she's shy with boys. Bro, I was just about to say something I totally forgot. <laughs> nice to meet you. You too, Kisaragi san. Call me Usami. Weird name, saw me, but I'm used to it. In that case, you can call me Iori. It's nice to be on a first name basis. I'm Miwako. All I know is, uh, Usami chan sits at the desk in front of mine. She has red glasses, braids, and seems a bit weird, honestly. Weird, uh, she's probably gonna be, uh, her. At the end of this prologue, she'll probably reveal something. But anyway, we're gonna ask her. Where'd you go to middle school, Usami-chan? Oh, uh... You know, nowhere special. Kind of far away, though. Huh. Sorry, I have to ask. We got a lot of 90s anime tropes. Usami-chan. Yeah? You and Goto-senpai, are you close? Goto? Nah, not really. Why? Well, he's awfully popular here at school. Seriously? That guy? Well, you know, nowhere special. Kind of far away. Yeah, that's hell is sus. So that's how it is. I saw you two talking in the hall earlier. Yeah, uh... Don't worry. He's not my type. Just an acquaintance. I is that who I think it is? Is that Adea Lee? Is that Cassandra Lee Morris? Said her whole government name out loud. Huh? Your forehead is red. Well, she was sleeping on the desk. Oh, um, I kind of bumped into someone. Now the rest of your face is red. Bruh. Huh? I wonder why. Well, uh... The guy I ran into is kind of cute, so... Jeez, I feel awkward just thinking about it. Sounds like love at first sight. Really? Sure. Definitely. It was a destined encounter. You two are meant to be. Um, you think so? Maybe. Cute guy has been added to the thought cloud. Cute guy. What is this? My heart is racing. Oh, you can walk during this. 
He wasn't wearing our uniform, was he? Maybe he's from a different school. Okay. So Atari sounds like Haru's VA. You Ew, Q W E R T. Appreciate the sub. It's just I keep having strange dreams. They keep me up at night. Or any of them for real, or what? Uh -huh. It's hard to remember the details, but last night I was surrounded by flames, like a burning city. This huge shadow started coming for me, and then I woke up. Uh, She's a clone, just like. Is she another Noel Vermilion clone from Blaze Blue? Is it lunchtime yet? He apparently is a clone of somebody. Somebody's out here messing with their DNA. Shall we walk home together? I'd love to hear more about this boy you met. This girl is crazy about boys. She needs to chill. You're welcome to join us, Usami chan. There's a new crepe shop we could stop by. Crepes? Yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. Crepes. He's all about crepes. Oh, what the heck was that? Jeez, that door was impossible to open. How old is this place? Gosh, Natsuno-chan. Don't break the door. <laughs> I didn't. This school is so old, it still uses hanging lamps. That do be true. I see that every day. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Our school's pretty old. They were working on a new building for this year, but I heard construction was delayed. I think we'll be moving to the new one next month. Sure hope so. This place is a dump. Yeah, this place is kind of shabby. During the war. Whoa. That means it's over 40 years old. 40 years? Is it your class next door, not Chuck? I feel like you got to be listening yeah, in. We got to pay a close attention to the dialogue. You know this girl? Yes, she's a good friend. The three of us have known each other since grade school. Mm. -chan, this is Usami chan. Last name Kisaragi. Kisaragi. And I'm not to know Minami. Nice to meet you. Nasu no what? Nasu no no who? But there's another girl. There you are. Too many of you girls here. What are you doing in someone else's classroom? The teacher told you to prepare for the next class. Yeah, I know. Oh, right. You know that cat we were talking about? I saw it. Same. Really? Where? Outside the science room. Minami-san. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. There's a cat outside the building, huh? I think I know that kitty. See, what did I tell you? I can't talk to her. It has black fur with a white belly, right? Yeah, Mina. You've seen it too, Miwa chan? Yeah, I got that cat right here. Where's Amina? Dang. No fair. I haven't seen it yet. So it's behind the science room, huh? Man. I'm gonna go looking. Hmm. Guess that nap did her some good. Dude, I need a nap right now, bro. Break time. Oh, there it is right there. I don't see it anywhere. Where could it be? It's right. There it is. I found you, hi kitty. This cat looks grumpy as hell. Hey, that's Amaguchi. Something here. Amiguchi kun. This isn't like you. Just listen, okay? <laughs> what is this? First for me too. What is this? You feel it, right? <sighs> I want to pursue this with you. Bruh. Please. I don't know. <laughs> it's just Huh? Fuyasaka-san? Bruh. <laughs> 
What is she doing here? Oh, bruh. I, uh, hey, yo, these. I think as long as you love each other, it's okay. What? Don't mind me. Bye. Wait, there seems to have been a misunderstanding. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Me and this guy dating? <laughs> That's rich. Like my family. Uh, sorry for the confusion. He said, "That's we rich, but not as rich as me." Yeah, the strange dreams we've been having. Dreams? Dreams into reality. Every day I have strange dreams. They keep me up at night. <sighs> so sleepy. All she do is want to sleep, bro. She must got some kind of deficiency or something iron iron deficiency whenever i think about him my heart starts racing it's like love at first sight if i said that would he laugh at me Strange dreams. so what are these dreams well lately dream drop distance stuff different every time I don't even think they're in chronological order. Oh, great. They do seem related. Hmm. I love things out of order. Same goes for this guy. It's like we're seeing the same stuff. The more he tells me, the more I think it all lines up. Makes you think our dreams are connected. Maybe we've just seen too many movies. I guess we do have that in common. We first met at that video rental joint, after all. Interesting. Still, I can't help but think it's something else. Like, I don't know, telepathy? If not that, maybe it's a vision of the future. The future? Anyway, I'm just saying. Whenever we dream this stuff, we should compare notes. Hmm. I know it sounds crazy. Do you believe us? Well, actually... I'm more surprised to hear that's all it was. Cause I thought... Hmm, class is starting. We can talk more later. Well, where's that cat though? For you, Saka -san. Wait, no, 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 we was looking for a cat. Dude, that can't be just the prologue. There's gotta be more to it. Nah, bro, we gotta go back and play that and look for the cat. We gotta go look for the cat, don't we? Beginning of the end, wave two. What the heck? Tutorial? We still got. This is the tutorial, right? And we, we gotta go through what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six more. Bro, May 27th. I think it was April the last time we were here. Bro, I can, I'm not gonna remember all these dates, bro. I got in this robot and. Oh, good. Looks like you're okay. Eh, this is the continuation of what started earlier, right? Everything you said came true. We got kaiju <laughs> everywhere, right? I think I prefer my kaiju to stay on the silver screen. <sighs> Looks like there's more on the way. Can you get your sentinel up? I'll try. But oh, she's. I think it might be broken in some places. She's missing one fourth. We're in a second generation Sentinel. It weighs around 2,200 tons. With that kind of weight, it can end up crushing its own components if it collapses. Damn. This big robot looks so tough. Is it really that useless if it falls over? Don't let your guard down. We have another wave of D forces inbound. D forces. Talking about them like that. What are these D forces? Dimos. They're the kaiju. Bro. Them. They're trying to reach the mainframe in the depths below. Maybe the movies That's are like attack every terminal that has a connection to events. If they managed to reach the mainframe. This city will be wiped out. But we can't stand the defensive forever. With so few of us, we could never sustain it. Instead, we have to rely on the terminal's internal defenses, a specialized program. That puts up an impenetrable shield around Bro, the area. What the, the fuck are you talking about, dude? I don't know anything what this dude is saying. It's gotta be the Aegis system Ms. Morimura was talking about. But is it even safe to use? 
Oh my god. I hope this shit makes sense over time, bro, because it don't make sense. Whichever one of you is closest, move to the D Force's invasion point. Invasion point, huh? Make your way towards the terminal, which is the invader's target. Move. Choose a signal and select move from the menu. Now she's closest, so uh, I guess we gotta pick her. Focus. We can do this, right? Number fifteen, moving out. You made it. That's where you send the signal to the terminal, three hundred meters underground. Of your ID. I gotta invest 40 hours before it'll make sense. That's crazy. And that'll fix it? <laughs> That's enough to get rid of all the kaiju? No, it won't be that simple. The defense systems have a long startup. We'll need to buy enough time for Aegis to initialize. Until it activates, our mission is to keep the D forces away from the terminal. We'll try. Warning Dymo signatures identified. Enemy in range. Okay, time to kill some Dimos. Initiating tactical analysis. Let's shoot some Dimos. Hmm. You must protect your terminal until the self defense system Aegis is activated. Okay. Damage to the terminal is shown on the top left of the screen. If this defense gauge is depleted or if even one of your pilot dies, is game over? Oh shit. Now we gotta play a game? You can switch the uh, pilots you control with. The D-pad. Change up pilots depending on the situation. How do I? What can I do? Focus. What now? I think he should move all the way over here. How do I? Do I just Focus. not move? He needs to get HP. Cause she, I, that's one thing I noticed is that I think her HP is uh low. Okay, fight it. Okay. Arm mounted machine cannons. Okay, what's what's this kaiju? It takes a ground kaiju two times with the sentinel's giant fist, and then you got the multi lock this is we get this is AoE ish. -ish. Got it. Knock that man back. How do I pick a character? What now? Bro, can I not like can't mess this up? The defense is we're getting lit up right now, bro. Number 13, oh my god. That's funny. We're gonna blow all this up right here. Okay, blow him up. He was getting lit up for a second, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I guess there's an action gauge. I see. You gotta wait for that to go back before you get a turn. Okay. There's a cooldown or a ATB bar, if you will. Um. Okay, the wait. So. They haven't really explained it yet, but I think certain moves make you wait longer after using it. His heavy knuckle has a weight of five. Oh. Is that like the, the cooldown? I think that's the cooldown. Okay. I'm on it. Punch that man out of there. So if we need to charge EP, that's when we defend. Aegis activation can Never defend unless you need to get EP. Are your sentinels still operational? Okay. Mine's doing okay. I can still fight. Naked kids and robots. Are you fighting? No, oh, who the? You're in a sentinel. You're going to tell me who you are now. I believe that's Sentinel number twelve, Okino's machine. I'm Takatoshi Hijiyama. And this is my sentinel. Takatoshi Hijiyama. You were with Okino-kun before. 
I've come to save the human race. Leave this region to me. Are you not human, bro? He cut off his comms. What the heck? I found his sentinel's location, but it's a ways from your position. He's not gonna try taking them all on by himself, is he? I'll move to rendezvous. You two should keep going towards the next combat zone. Oh, wait! Which way is the next zone? I'm sure we'll figure it out. Follow me. We made it. Okay. I kind of get it now. I kind of get a little bit of it. Takatoshi. Kaji. Kaji Tang, bro. It involves all three of these characters. Is that what that means when there's three characters standing there? Or that's just the character select screen? Mm hmm. Okay. We'll do one more character story before we head on to our next episode. You know, this is perfect for timestamps. Because what I can do is just easily just timestamp which character stories, who's like, I, got, I can timestamp tutorial, character, character, character prologue one, character prologue two or whatever. So, yo, this is going to be easy. This is going to be a good game to upload to YouTube. Hope everybody on YouTube is enjoying the gameplay so far. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but uh, let's keep playing it. Mm -hmm. The game was feeling pretty cozy. Let me throw how to fight Kaiju's. Fight, fight demons, demons, demos. Oh, what the? 1944. The fuck? Looks like they're starting to panic down there. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. What the? That's weird. We got time so travel. Changed the shifter's access key, huh? Not that it matters. Here we go, son. Huh? So, you came after me, Hijiyama-kun. This has to be some misunderstanding. You can't be a spy, can you? Hmm. Sounds like the professor all right. Well, he didn't get long hair. What the heck? The military's looking for you. They think you stole some kind of intel. But you're the professor's daughter. Nani? You can't be a spy. It doesn't make sense. Sorry to break it to you. I'm not his daughter. The real Kiriko Doji is still over in Tokyo. Bruh. What? But the whole spy thing's kind of a stretch. I don't need to steal any secrets on the Sentinels. I'm the one who built them, after all. Bruh. How am I going to remember half of this stuff? <laughs> I'm just not. Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for our efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him, but... What does it mean if this isn't her? I'm not the professor's daughter. I'm the... I'm the bitch that made the Sentinels. Sentinel, what? <laughs> Is she serious? She says she built the Sentinel herself, but... I'm not sure I believe this. You built them? Yeah, that was me. I drew up the designs in an editor. Then I just had to send the order into an automated factory. But that's... For all I know, no, somebody just implanted just the knowledge in her. I even implanted the linking component into your head. You see this shit? Though you wouldn't remember, of course. Anesthesia and all. Look at this bullshit. When you came to the factory, you said you were there on behalf of the professor. It was as good a cover story as any. People can, like, make people forget stuff. You think they can't imp implant, like, memories or something into people? Like, what? Eh, come on, bro. There's too much going on. Professor Doji led the Sentinel. His daughter. What does it mean? If you're not the real Kiriko, then... Then who are you? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Or maybe... This really isn't about who I am. Maybe it's just about what you feel towards me. I... Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, my man got shut up real quick. You're kind of a simple guy. 
There's something about you, though. What are you even saying? I'm saying... I'm gonna miss you. But my key just finished decrypting. <gasps> so, that's it. This is goodbye. So is this how he got to the future? He has a sentinel link. Kiriko-san? She vanished? That's impossible. It was barely a moment. She can't have had time to run into the mountains. Where did Kiriko-san go? Oh, someone's coming. He's the one who snuck into the factory. There's something fishy about him. But if he's working with her, then... It was like I'm low-key watching a movie, bro. <laughs> and I ain't got a problem with it. And see what he's up to. I think it's setting it up. It's it's kind of cozy if it if that's what I'm trying to say. I think. Kind of say that it's kind of kind of cozy. Tokisaka Shrine, huh? If this log is right, Okino just crossed over. Might still catch up if I'm fast. Let me guess. Coordinates read Sector 4 in the year 1984. Give it up. There's nowhere to run. Suspicious man. Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project. His daughter. What does it mean if... You know Kiriko Doji? Yeah. I knew it. Though that wasn't actually her, of course. Is that really true? She said something along those lines, too. She, huh? Must have been pretty convincing, then. His real name is Tsukasa Okino. He wears that stuff for his own reasons. What? what? Don't joke about that! You're just trying to confuse me! She uh, must have been pretty convincing then. His real name is Tsukasa Okino. Ah, uh, got his ass. Hijiyama. So you're the spy. But there's no escaping me now. <sighs> what are you doing here? If I told you, you'd laugh in my face. Answer me, or I'll do more than laugh at you. Uh-oh. I'm going to time travel to another era. <sighs> is that a joke? Or are you just insane? <sighs> this can't be true, can it? Was the Kiriko Doji I knew really a man? This Tsukasa Okino? We're writing DNA out here, bro. What the heck? He's just playing games with me. Time travel. Really? This is reality. For real? Not some petty dreadful. I actually did not mean to play that one. That's funny. You're going to time travel, huh? Try a better story next time. This Kiriko Doji of yours? He did it himself just moments ago. Escaped from here into the future. I'm not falling for your lies. I don't have time for this. Step back. I'm going after him. Well, so you do know where she went. Where? Show me. <laughs> you don't want to get caught in this shift. Keep your distance. Right, your time travel. I'd like to see you try it. Don't say I didn't warn you. He was okay with it too. Dude, damn. That long hand was going crazy, bro. Cool, Bora. Starting to think he ain't gonna show. Oh my god. You'd beat his ass watching my son. Probably shitting his pants right now. Bro. Your tail and ran, huh? Guess he didn't have the balls after all. Whoa, hold it. What? Yakisoba pawn. Noodles stir fried in sauce and folded in sweetened bread. I don't trust much in this post war world. But if there's one exception, it's my yakisoba pawn. 
My man is hungry. He better not get it knocked out of his hand. Don't give me that shit. Nearly knocked my freaking arm out of its side. This is how they're gonna fight. You wanna apologize? He's gonna knock the pot out of his hand. Uh -huh. Sorry about that. You're sorry? Sorry, don't pay my goddamn hospital bills. So? I don't have money if that's what you're after. Walk away. I said hold it. <laughs> I try to walk. Wait, Wajima-san. I heard about him. People have been talking about this guy. He's the one who's been snatching all the jackets. He got time traveled and he had nowhere to go, I guess. Wait. Yeah. This guy's wearing one of our uniforms. Oh, so you know the guy who owned this. I don't have any relatives around. I'm basically homeless at the moment. Yeah, because he got time trouble. This shit sucks. The cash were a really big help. He was a generous guy. Tell him I said thanks. Take care. Hey, don't you walk away. Come on. <sighs> I knew he was going to make him drop this food. My yaki soba pot. I didn't even get a single bite. You just made a big mistake, punk. Uh oh, somebody's about to get decked. No problem with me, buddy. Cool bar versus no demon use I mean, no uh. You heard him, boys. Sick him. Minigame time? Did we get a minigame? Ooh, 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 ooh. Damn, they got whooped up. Stop! We're sorry! Look, we'll get you another snack, man. I've got no mercy for people who waste food. Bro, they got meat. Yaki soba pond. What the hell happened? I thought you called me up for a fight, Wajima. Someone want to tell me what I missed here? And who are you? A friend of theirs? That sounds familiar. I'm Ninji Ogata from Sakura High. I didn't ask you to fight my battles, pal. That sounds like, um, Josuke. Hold it. <laughs> Wait, it's you. I don't know. You're that jacket snatcher. Uh, Hijiyama or something. Takatoshi Hijiyama. At your service. Takatoshi. I told them I didn't need the help. But they wouldn't take no for an answer. I man got the swag though. Yeah, I'll bet. He's got the red shirt under the black jacket. Ooh, is leather too? Drop the tough guy act already. I could say the same thing. Don't go picking fights you can't win. I've heard enough, douchebag. He got the Akuma pose. You owe me a fight. It's Dr. Marky from P5. Come at me. Look at hands in the pockets. You know you're about to get your ass whooped. You know you, you know you getting your ass with somebody got two hands in his pocket walking towards you. Like that's kind of crazy. Come at me, bring it. I'm gonna walk past them. <laughs> oh. Well, look at this. I guess you fit right in here in the '80s. Here, I figured I'd have to check up on you. Is this the boy? What? I know that voice. And that face. Wait. Oh no. I came for a fight, and I'm getting one. How do I wait? Damn it. Fade to black. Before dawn. End of factory alley. It's almost dawn. This is about where I last saw him. He has to be close by. Yo, look at this factory. Place looks dirty, bro. Kick like a horse. Pretty tough for a thug. He almost had me for a moment there. I wish they showed the fight. Budget issues. Damn, I wish I could like look at stuff and examine it and get funny uh dialogue. All right, let's go up here. Looks like it's locked. This looks like a gang hideout. TBH. Just missing some graffiti. Yeah, he's a uh, y'all know Wingle, y'all know Yamato, 
Isn't this the same VA? You found me. Kiriko san. Were you looking for me all night? Still as reckless as ever, huh? <clears throat> Don't try to talk around it. I. I know who you are under those clothes. I figured you'd be here soon, so. Got some breakfast for you, too. Really? Half a year I've been searching for you. Okay, so half a year thinking of what I'd say to your face. Is it 85 or 84 right now? Some yucky soba pawn. You didn't get any yesterday, right? You got yucky soba pawn for me? Is he time traveled to 84, but that, that's not the point. If it's a half a year, it could be 85. Take me back to my own time. We're going, whether you like it or not. And if I say no, what'll you do? Push me over? Pin me down? Bruh. The board? I would never. Really? Besides, you're a man, aren't you? Why don't you find out? <laughs> uh. Something tells me he don't care. This can't be true, can it? Was the Kiriko Doji I knew really a man? This Tsukasa Okino? Okay. What is what what is this person doing? Tsukasa Okino is trolling people, going in going back in time, stealing the intel. I don't know what the fuck he was going back in time for. So you're actually Tsukasa Okino. Why do you wear women's clothes? Doesn't feel great to hear you say it like that. <laughs> you weren't complaining when you confessed to me. Uh, got him. I'm not exactly the picture of masculinity anyway. Better than trying to pass as some militant with a buzz cut. Ooh. So why are you dressed like that now? Get him. Because I know you like it. Ooh, get him. <laughs> You're a funny guy, Hijiyama-kun. <clears throat> let's say some binaries work for me and others don't. This lets me hide the fact that I'm even alive. Why are you trying to hide that fact? That's kind of weird. Hiding from the law? Why disguise yourself as Kiriko-san? Even convincing everyone you were a girl. Professor Doji thought it'd be a good idea. See, he's... Well, all Shikishima's tech really began with him. Let me guess, it runs in the family. Shikishima made incredible strides after the war. Shikishima. And a lot of that was thanks to his work. Though it didn't hurt that I taught him about his future's technology. But why? That's hilarious. Why would you make that deal with him? For the Sentinel. The Sentinel has been at it. Isn't that kind of like a... What do you call it? One of those loop... What do you call it? Paradox? This dude was taught about his own future's tech. So technically his tech was always you know you know what i'm saying like did this person go back in time the first time and it's like kind of like that's kind of weird is she serious she says she built the sentinel so what did you plan to do with the sentinel it was an accident that it showed up at all it was never meant to be there i mean come on you've seen it you think they could make that back in the 1940s? Even here in the 80s? Yeah, where did it come from in the first place? Yeah. It's not human craftsmanship. It was made in the future, in an automated factory. Ah, okay. Let me put it in layman's terms. There was an incident, and it got broken. Our goal was to fix it there so it could fight again. But wasn't it meant to be used against the USA? Then who or what was it made to fight? Isn't that kind of cheap? So wait, 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 wait. Can you technically, let's say you can travel from the past and the future or whatever, right? Like, oh no, we run out of resources. Let's just go back to this many years ago to restock on the resources. 
Couldn't you just like kind of just recycle resources by just keep going back to the past? I know that sounds weird. It's like, oh, we broke it. We need to go fix it. Let's go back to the past, get the resources to fix it and go to the future. Aren't you taking the resources from the past and making the resources less in the future? I don't know, man. I'm losing. I'm, I'm already fucking losing my head. <laughs> I'm thinking too hard when I, I feel like I should just let the game explain it. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind, I indeed. Get back, no matter what. If we can finish the Sentinel project, we can win the war. You're a good guy, but kind of an open book. You know that? Say whatever you want. I don't care who you really are anymore. Like if it splits into a different timeline, if you go back. I know about the air raids. Yeah. And Okinawa, Hiroshima, Nagasaki. I can't just let those attacks happen. I can't let those people die. So you did some reading in the history section. Between all the manual labor you've been doing and your living conditions, or, well, lack thereof, you're a lot more determined than I expected. You've been keeping tabs on me. I do have one suggestion. There's something I still need to do. And that something is here in 1985. I just need you to wait until that's finished. Actually, I'd really appreciate your help with it. Okay, and that's something that's here in 1985. Yep, I thought so. Because I was wondering, like, six months have passed, so I wonder if it was, like, either still in the, 90, you know, 84 or 85. It does involve you, after all. When it's finally all over. Then, you can ask me to do whatever you want. How's that Bruh. sound? Anything I want? No, I mean, what I want is to go back to my own time. If you're sure. Sure, but sure, pal. Still, think it over. My base is over there on the second floor. Where are you going? I'm wearing the uniform. Where do you think? Back in time. Oh, right. Your yakisoba pawns on the desk inside. <sighs> Wow, was that your stuff? This dude's hungry. You haven't eaten anything since yesterday, huh? Go ahead. The door's unlocked. You can't trick me with food. I'm not an animal. Stop being stubborn and go get some breakfast. Fuck it. I'm hungry. <laughs> Hockey Silver Pond has been added to the thought cloud. <laughs> oh, this shit's good. Oh, dude, it looked like a, go now? a chili. Maybe he really was just manipulating me. Well, it is Yaki Silver Pond. Not much I could do. Hold on. Can we go back in here and look around while we eat? I can't run with the Yakisoba pond. Oh. I'm trying to, I'm trying to run with it and eat. Yo, oh my God. You see this card? This is the card they used to beat up in the street fighter games. Well, as long as I've got it. <clears throat> so good. That's the end of the prologue, isn't it? The sauce is so sweet. Yeah, it's so spicy. <clears throat> I hit the spot. The uniform. If he's in that uniform. He's probably going to school. But what's he trying to accomplish there? Maybe the school is like a front. For now, I should find Okino again. It won't do me any good if he slips away. I might as well check my old school. All right, Hijiyama's prologue cleared. Mystery files obtained three. Event archives obtained three. Close results. Progress 14. Bro, this is still the prologue. And then we got 90 other characters to like learn or just go through. So everybody on YouTube, 
we're gonna go ahead and end our first episode of 13 sentinels aegis room we're gonna go ahead and end it see you guys for episode two very soon the game is very confusing i don't know what's going on but it's cozy it's very interesting i want to learn what the heck is going on see you guys next time